Osiris is a god and mythical king of ancient Egypt, according to Egyptian mythology was the inventor of agriculture and religion and his reign was beneficial and civilizing, he died drowned in the Nile, killed in a conspiracy organized by Seth, his younger brother, despite the dismemberment of his body, he was brought back to life by the magical power of his sister Nephthys and his wife Isis. The martyrdom of Osiris was enough to conquer the world beyond, where he became sovereign and supreme. Judge of the laws of Mott, so come with me to see the story of Osiris. The Greek historian and philosopher Plutarch is the author of several treatises on morals, philosophy, and theology tells us that the story begins with the mythical restoration of the solar calendar of 365 days. Nut, the goddess of the sky had a secret love affair with Geb, her brother, the god of the earth. Are, the sun god, upon learning of her actions, became angry and forbade Nut to give birth during the 360 days of the year. Tot, Nut's other brother, then decides to play dice with the moon to get some of her 72 days of light, having won five additional days, he adds them to the 360 days created by R.A. Osiris was born on the first day, or Semsu on the second, Seth on the third day tearing the womb, Isis on the fourth in the marshes of the Nile Delta, and Nephthys on the fifth and last day. Plutarch states that the true father of Osiris and Horsemsu was R.A., that the father of Isis was Tot and that only Seth and Nephthys were the descendants of Geb. However, it also gives another version of the paternity of Horsemsu, indicating that before birth, Osiris and Isis, in love with each other, would have conceived Horsemsu in the womb of his mother. At that time it was normal for siblings to marry, so Osiris takes Isis as his wife, Together they had their son Horus, also in Plutarch's version says that Osiris, by mistake, was unfaithful to Isis with her twin sister Nephthys, the wife of Seth, from this adulterous relationship was born Anubis, the dog-headed god. Osiris was a mythical Egyptian sovereign both lord of the Mott and king so I will tell you about Osiris how he became king, the Ennead of the gods of Heliopolis was considered by the ancient Egyptians as the first dynasty of their rulers, after creating Egypt, Adamare ruled the country, then he was replaced by Shu and later by Geb, the latter, seeing the merits of Osiris, gave him the throne. And now we will see how it is that Osiris was considered the lord of Mott. Plutarch relates that Osiris taught his people civilized manners so that men did not resemble wild beasts and that he also taught them agriculture and respect for the gods and the laws, the oldest Egyptian archaeological documents relating to Osiris coincide with this account of Plutarch. A fragment of an edge of the 5th dynasty indicates that, from the beginning of his cult, he was called the great god, lord of Mott, Osiris who presides in Busiris and in all its places. The Mott is the cosmic order is a political religious concept that emerged during the formation of the ancient empire, a time when the Egyptian monarch acquired a leading role, in a unified country his figure surpasses that of all local authorities, in this context, the Mott is a myth that unifies all the subjects of the Egyptian sovereign under a single authority, Mott is thus the deification of the will and the royal order. At the height of the kingship of the ancient empire, the Mott is a characteristic attribute of the human sovereign, the pharaoh Senefru builder of the bent pyramid, in his title was erected as lord of Mott, the political theological situation changed during the fifth dynasty, when the supreme power passes from the earthly world to the divine plane. The power of the king was devalued and the rulers of this dynasty became sons of R.A., the sovereigns were also deprived of their authority over the Mott in favor of Osiris in the same way, the Mott becomes sacred because it is entrusted to the sovereign of the afterlife, who sanctions at the end of human life all his bad acts. I hope you are enjoying the video, we still need to see how he is killed and how was his resurrection, but first I ask you to give me a like and do not forget to subscribe, now let's continue. There are two versions, the texts that appear in the pyramids and Plutarch's account, so let's start with the first one. His brutal death and the magical process of his resurrection are mentioned numerous times in the pyramid texts, two pharaohs benefited from a funeral oration in which appear the main moments of the fate of the god, Pepe I and Pepe II of the 6th dynasty, who ruled Egypt in the 23rd and 22nd centuries BC. In both cases the text is engraved on the south wall of the burial chamber. Very close to the sarcophagus, the prayer, 
a magical incantation that makes the deceased king assume the role of Osiris, does not appear as a narrative or as a structured story, this genre does not appear until Plutarch. The prayer can be divided into two sequences, the first evokes the martyrdom of Osiris, the gates of heaven open to let in the gods of the city of P.E., a town located in Lower Egypt, it is probably Horus and his two sons Amset and Happy, the gods approach the body of Osiris, attracted by the wailing of Isis and Nephthys, as a sign of mourning and in honor of the deceased, they beat their thighs, ruffle their hair, clap their hands and refuse to accept his death, exhort him to wake up so he can hear what Horus did for him and announce that his murder would be avenged, Seth had beaten and killed Osiris as a mere bovine and then tied him up, Horus let his father know that he had done the same to Seth and then placed him in the custody of Isis, the rest of the prayer refers to the rebirth of the god Osiris, in the lake of life, the deceased takes the form of the jackal god Upuau. Horus offers to his father his defeated Sethian enemies, brought by Tot, then the son enthroned the father as chieftain of the dead by giving him the scepter Uas, after being purified by Nephthys, Osiris is perfumed by Isis, the two sisters collected his flesh and bound his limbs, the four sons of Horus participated in the reconstruction of Osiris, the ritual of the opening of the mouth and eyes is performed. Returned to life by Shu and Tefnut, Osiris leaves the duet and rises towards Adam in the direction of the paradisiacal fields. The most recent version of the myth is the one offered by Plutarch, this Greek philosopher shows Osiris and Isis as sovereign benefactors, Osiris taught humans the basics of agriculture and fishing, while Isis taught them weaving and medicine. At that time, Seth ruled over hostile desert lands, as well as foreign lands, jealous of his brother, Seth plotted the murder of Osiris to seize the throne of Egypt that he coveted. During a banquet in honor of Osiris, Seth offered the attendees a magnificent chest, promising to give it to the one who was able to get into it, none of those who tried succeeded and, when Osiris without suspecting that it was a trap managed to get in, Seth closed and sealed the chest, while his accomplices chased away the guests and kept away Isis, then Seth threw the chest into the Nile which reached the Mediterranean Sea. Osiris drowned and Seth took advantage of the murder to establish his dominion over Egypt, Isis, the grieving widow, searched for her husband's body all over Egypt and found it in Byblos, Lebanon, she brought the remains of the murdered king to Egypt and took refuge in the marshes of the Nile Delta, during a night hunt in the marshes, Seth found the body of his hated brother. He was enraged and cut the corpse into fourteen pieces and scattered them all over Egypt, with the help of some followers like Tot, Nephthys, and Anubis, Isis found the parts of the god, except his penis, which she had to reconstruct with magic because it had been devoured by a lepidote, a phage, and an oxyrhynchus. After reconstituting the body, he embalmed it with the help of Anubis by wrapping it in strips of linen, with the help of her sister Nephthys. Isis flaps her wings over the inert body giving loud cries to breathe life into Osiris with her magical powers. Resurrected, Osiris did not return to earth, but now reigns over the world of the dead, thus, the rebirth of Osiris heralds all possible forms of renewal, whether in vegetation or in human beings. The Egyptians called Sa to the constellation of Orion, personified as a man who wore the white crown of Upper Egypt. Sa was considered the ruler of the stars to which he ordered his journey through the night sky, Sa is the Solba of Osiris or Osiris himself according to various traditions, several chapters of the texts of the sarcophagi are dedicated to this constellation. The idea of divine justice exercised after death for wrongs done during life is first found in the Old Kingdom in the Sixth Dynasty tomb containing fragments of what would later be described as negative confessions, with the popularization of the cult of Osiris during the Middle Kingdom, the democratization of religion, the promise of eternal life was offered to even the humblest of followers with the moral aptitude becoming the dominant factor in determining a person's suitability upon death. The person faced trial by a tribunal of 42 divine judges, if he or she led a life in accordance with the precepts of the goddess Maat, who represented truth and righteous living, the person was welcomed into the kingdom of Osiris, if found guilty, the person was thrown to the devourer, and did not share eternal life. And this is the story of the Egyptian god Osiris, 
I hope you liked the video and do not forget to subscribe to see the story and much more of various mythological characters, see you in the next video, see you later.